Hello everyone, uh, it's Comfort Beach Ambesh once again, and welcome to the episode two of uh, of intro of introduction to PHP beginner series. Yeah, so uh, in the last in the last in the last episode of the introduction, I forgot to mention one motivating thing. If you are not ready for this advice, it is as good as you quit from here. Okay, so what I would like, what, what what I've observed in the in the past few years is that uh, I've seen a couple of people do start uh, uh, practicing coding, like uh, when they, they do just start fine, but as the time goes on, they start to back off. Yeah, they they start to back off, like they start feeling bored, or they just started they just start feeling like uh, they have known it all. So programming isn't something that you could say that I've known it all. So you can have that A plus in your academics or in your in any of the certifications. But what you just what you just have to know is that uh, wherever you go, once you stop practicing the code, you'll be as good as nothing in the coding field. So what I'm trying to emphasize here is consistency. You need to make sacrifices. You need to make sacrifices. Yeah, so at least make make an hour or the minimum of 40 minutes to practice the code. Let me just say an hour. At least uh, spare an hour to code if when, when you're in the beginner phase. And then uh, as the time goes on, we're just going to find that uh, things will start uh, be going better. So mostly, what happens is that uh, when when we are practicing the codes uh, during those uh, first phases, the code doesn't seem okay. It doesn't it really sounds awkward? But we just do it like that until uh, we become what we want to be. Okay. So enough of the talking. Uh, let's get back to our many topics. So this for in this episode, we're going to have a look at the basic syntax of php and uh, the displaying of data or information to be precisely so um before before we could start anything we really need a text editor really need a text editor so i for this for this tutorial i'll be using sublime text but you can use any text any code editor any code editor that you're comfortable with, but as for me, I'll be using Sublime Text because I really do feel that that uh, it really gives me what I need when I'm writing PHP code. So let's go. Let's get started. So I'm going to open my Sublime Text. Okay, before you could start anything, make sure that uh, your PHP is running. Your PHP is running for now. Only start Apache. Okay, only start a patch for now. If it brings something like this, then it means uh, it has start. Uh, we are home and ready to go. So uh, let's start creating some files here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open my code editor. Open your code editor. Okay, open your code editor, and then I'm going to uh, create a file here so take note of the file naming conversion so php uses dot php extension so in whichever php code that you'll be writing never forget to add the dot php you can name the file that you can give uh, you can you can give any name to your file but never forget the extension which is uh, the dot php so what i'm going to do over here is i'm going to save this file into XAMP PHP to its folder which we created in the previous episode. HT docs PHP to C and I'm going to name this file uh, syntax. I'm going to name it episode. I'm going to say uh, episode one in episode one and then our uh, syntax syntax and info let me just name it episode one and then 
what I'm trying to talk to say here is never forget this extension .php. So I'm going to save it. Yeah, so now let's get started. So I know you're wondering in, in case if you're not from the IT or the, or the techie background, let's familiarize ourselves with each and every term that we'll be using here. So when we say a syntax, a syntax is a set of rules that a programming language a programming language obey or a set of instructions that a programmer must obey yeah a set of uh, programming instructions that a programmer must obey just like in any other just like in any other language we have uh, spanish we have spanish english uh bemba uh swahili zulu and Chinese, Japanese, and some other languages. So in each, so in each and every language that uh, that that is spoken by human, there are some things that uh, that are obeyed. Like uh, in like the grammar. Let's talk of a grammar. We have in Eng in English what we call grammar rules. Grammar rules that we follow. So same applies to programming. Each and every programming take. Uh, a programming language as also another language so what is obeyed by uh, a certain programming language cannot be obeyed by another programming language or what is considered to be right by by the other programming language can not be considered to be uh, uh, right by the other programming language or what is or what is considered to be right by the other programming language is considered to be uh, wrong by the other programming language. So I'm going to reopen my sublime text. It seems like I brought an error. Yeah, so uh, we open our episode1.php. So now let's start coding now. Let's let's see how we could how we could write our PHP codes, the syntax, those rules. Okay, so uh, a PHP code starts like this. This and term so and terminates like this so this simply means that our code our php code starts from here and ends to here so what this simply means is that uh, all what this server expects or all what this code expects is in between here from the start tag to the end tag is or are all supposed to be php codes if you type in anything that is not php of course it's going to raise an error so let me just try to type in something like uh, uh let's see let's see and then i'm going to save so uh, if to save your file you could just click on save and yes and save but for now i'm not going to be using this save thing here i'll be using the shortcut which is control uh, plus s to save so let's see if our code do work okay something there's something wrong don't know why my service okay so let's click on episode one you see a syntax error unexpected string content like i said i don't know what's, like i said i don't know what's wrong okay like i said in between here all what the all what the compiler expects is are the p are the php codes so if you write anything that is not php of course it's not going to raise an error so in in so beneath here i can i can write anything i want like uh like i code i code i code yeah so this will work if i put it down below here it will work I code, I code. Why has it? Why? Why? Yeah, it's working if we see here. Yeah, so uh, the answer is very simple here. It's just that uh, in here, there's we, we haven't even started, we haven't specified to say oh, we are dealing with PHP code. So this is considered to be like uh, just the normal text on the by the browser or just uh, the normal code by the browser. So unless we type these in between, this no oh, oh no can't take this what's happening yeah, so like uh if we take these and paste them here 
we are going to find that uh, it, 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 this code will not work, but this other one, it has worked just fine. I don't know what's happening with me. Maybe it's just that I'm starting some drivers, but anyway, let's continue. I can't stop like this. Okay, so uh, this is what I wanted to talk about. So uh, we can we can specify to say normal text here, and then over here we start another we specify we start another PHP syntax here. So even here, what it expects in between these, in between here. Uh, the PHP codes. So if you do type in anything that's not PHP even over here, it will not work. But this one, it will work because our PHP code is starting from here and terminating to here, which means you from which means from this so uh, from this space you can type in anything that is not PHP from this space since our PHP is ending from here and then we also have another php code which is starting from here and terminating to here so which means in between here there must be php codes and here you can put in anything just like that that's how it goes so now uh, enough about that let's also uh, talk about how we could be able to display uh the data or the information Okay, so just like any other programming language, just like any other programming language, just like any other programming language, there are ways of displaying uh, the information to the user, like to output the information to the user. So PHP also has, uh, so PHP, PHP also has uh, uh, the commands or the set of instructions or the syntax to allow us to display the information to the user. So uh, there are a couple of ways to display the information to the user, but uh, for this, uh, for this, um, for this, for this series, we'll be using the echo, the echo. Okay, so uh, let's start our PHP code. Like I stated, we start from here and we terminate from here. So in between here, everything must be PHP.